Dearest listeners, gather round, for today I shall unveil tales most enthralling, secrets most scandalous, for I am none other than Lady Whistledown, and what I speak of is the eagerly awaited season three of our beloved spectacle, Bridgerton. Prepare yourselves, for we are about to embark on a journey through the whispered corridors and opulent ballrooms of London's Tun. It was on a day like any other that Miss Nicola Coughlin, known amongst our society as the incomparable Penelope Featherington, offered a tantalizing glimpse into the shadows, revealing what lurks in the heart of the upcoming season. The first episode, aptly titled Out of the Shadows, promises a tale of longing, of hidden desires, and of the unspoken truths that simmer beneath the surface of our glittering world. Ah, the scribblings of Lady Whistledown. Dearest gentle reader, we've been apart for far too long. At last, London's smart set has made its return, and so too has this author. Such are the words that mark the beginning of a season that is set to dazzle and dismay in equal measure. The season's question that weighs heavily on every refined mind is this. Which newly minted debutante shall shine the brightest? The crop this year, my dear listeners, appears to be dazzling indeed. Yet, as we well know, not every young lady can attract the light. Some stories are of a more clandestine nature. Enter our dear Miss Penelope and the dashing Mr. Colin Bridgerton, portrayed by the charming Luke Newton. Their romance, a delicate dance of unspoken feelings and missed opportunities, takes center stage. Colin, you see, struggles to see his true love match in Penelope, for they met when but children. Oh, the innocence of youth can blind even the sharpest of eyes. And what of Eloise, our spirited Miss Bridgerton brought to life by the talented Claudia Jessie? Her journey is one of turmoil and self-discovery, she questions the world, never once doubting her place within it, yet remains, unaware of the undercurrents that sway those around her. Eloise's world, you see, was shaken, her trust fractured upon learning her dearest friend's hidden identity as yours truly. The tangled webs we weave. But what is a season in Bridgerton without the introduction of new faces to stir the pot? Three dashing newcomers, Harry Dankworth, Lord Debling and Marcus Anderson arrive, each with a story to tell, a role to play in the intricate dance of high society. Dankworth, with looks that could launch a thousand ships, but perhaps not a single intellectual debate. Lord Debling, an enigma wrapped in charisma, and Mr. Anderson, a beacon of charm lighting up the tun. Oh, the excitement they bring, the hearts they will set aflutter. But dear listeners, brace yourselves, for not all is as it seems. Behind the facade of balls and courtship, whispers circulate, alliances form, and the line between love and deception blurs. And I, Lady Whistledown, shall be there, watching, writing, revealing. Shonda Rhimes and Chris Van Dusen have woven a tapestry rich with passion and intrigue, deviating from the path laid out by the novels, choosing instead to focus on Colin and Penelope's untold story. A bold move. Indeed, but then, we are in an era of bold moves, are we not? As our beloved characters navigate the treacherous waters of love and societal expectations, one cannot help but wonder, what surprises await us in this season? What secrets will be unearthed? What hearts won and lost? The anticipation is quite exquisite. And so, dear listeners, as we eagerly await the arrival of Bridgerton Season 3, remember this. In a world where appearances are everything and the whispers of Lady Whistledown can uplift or undo, one must always be prepared for the unexpected. For in the world of Bridgerton, love is a game and the players are many. Who shall emerge victorious? Who shall succumb to the shadows? Only time shall tell. And so, with bated breath and hearts full of anticipation, we await the unveiling of these grand tales. Tales of love and betrayal, of light stepping out from the shadows. This is Lady Whistledown, bidding you a fond adieu until we meet again in the lavish halls and secretive corners of Bridgerton. Keep your ears sharp.
your eyes open, and your hearts ready for the wonders and woes of the Tun.